My name is Ying Hei Chui. Currently, I'm the director of the Wood Science and Technology Center, and I'm also recently awarded the New Brunswick Innovation Research Chair in Advanced Wood Products. So my chair is actually focused on the, the value added wood industry. Expectation from New Brunswick Innovation Foundation is that the chair would, would make its expertise available to help industry become more competitive through the development of new products, improvement of uh, existing products, reducing production costs, expanding the use of wood in new applications. As long as we always keep ahead, a step ahead of our competitors, which is through uh, R&D, we should always be <laughs> having a kind of an upper hand on potential competitors. Uh, we have certain strengths that are well known around the world. One of them is actually in the construction wood product and the development of uh, uh, new wood uh, building assemblies such as floor, wall and roof for use in uh, building applications. That's a strength where we actually have been attracting some overseas visiting scholars from other universities and most of the work is actually related to determining how strong a uh, piece of wood is, how strong a wall a wood wall is or you will see some testing related to how strong a nail joint a nail would put through into the wood, how strong that nail joint is. We, we see a, a new generation of these new products that most of them are actually made by gluing smaller pieces of wood into larger pieces. For example, there's a new product called cross laminated timber and you can make it into really large size, similar to what you would see like in a concrete slab. Because especially when you're dealing with new wood product for use in construction, when it's used in a building, you need to you need to show that, that that beam can support the design load. Otherwise, there will be failure. So there's a life safety concern there. So a very common test would be to to determine what we call the strength properties of this of this wood product. So a lot of a lot of our testing is actually related to bringing this new product or assembly to to failure, so that we can establish the, the what we call the load carrying capacity of these products. I'm actually currently the scientific director of a large network called New Builds, and that has about 13 universities involved, about 23 professors. The, the goal of the New Build Network is actually to develop new product or construction technology that allow wood to be used in taller buildings. In the last five, six years, there seems to be a race to have the tallest wood building in the world. So we started with a six story in Sweden, and then we get into the nine story building in London, and then a 10 story in Melbourne, Australia. Now we're seeing a 14 story in Norway. I have to say that now is probably an exciting time for us as wood researchers because we, there's a lot of interest in using wood because of the green building movement. 